We're back. We're back. I think this is episode six. I, I think so, yeah. I have a confession to make. Yes, my I son. I do not count well. It's okay. So it might be six. It might be seven. Do you believe the forgiveness I speak is not my forgiveness, but God's? I do. Be it done for you as you believe. Oh, and then we get all the hate mail that he's mocking absolution. All right. It's fun times. Oh, let's not do that. So last <laughs> you week. Are free. Like, please don't do that. Oh. Goodman can't take more emails. Yeah. Yeah. He already no has one slot in his Gmail. It says promotion, social updates. Hull and Patrick. Yeah. Hull and Patrick. Or Patrick and Hull right there. So oh. we are here. Uh, for our new episode, we are going to talk about something. Last week, we talked about a heavy subject. Yep. Um, this week, we're going to talk about still a heavy subject, but a little a little bit lighter. A little lighter, a little lighter. Um, something uh, that uh, I personally experienced. Mm-hmm. Uh, believe it or not, once upon a time, I was not this young, strapping man I am now. I tell you, I can't imagine it. Like, I mean, look at us now. This stud muffin right Yeah. Here. You know, you weren't. Uh, I, I think you were always this, but you know. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, So this week we're going to talk about bullying. Mm -hmm. Were you bullied? Oh, big time. When I went from, when I went uh, into high school, I was homeschooled until fresh, through freshman year. Then I become a soft, going to sophomore year and they didn't let any classes transfer or do anything. So I took freshman classes during the day, sophomore classes Mm -hmm. at night. And I didn't fit in with anybody. And it was like, I was this weird kid and not only was I homeschooled, I also had braces, so that didn't help me much either. Mm-hmm. And I know braces seems cool, but you know it's not. And you know it is cool when you're at the orthodontist though, and they're playing like the '90s soft pop. You know? Did you I ever have those things always, where whatever. they put like the smelly things on your nose? Oh yeah, yeah. I had a head. That was the greatest. I thing. loved it. It was great. But you know, then you get to school. But no, I remember I I had this one kid in class that would just mock me every inch of the way, mm-hmm. and he would he would just make fun of me like there's no tomorrow. And, uh, and then, yeah, he ended up dropping out of school because he was kind of a moron, but I didn't see it at that time. Was, you know what I mean? At that point, I thought this was a cool kid mocking me because I'm not as cool as he is. You in know, the end, he was actually pretty moronic and dropped out of school because he couldn't cut it. It's kind of funny that the, if you look back on, uh, not to speak negatively of our high school bullies, but the bullies that bullied, um, yeah. they... Most of them didn't turn out very well. No, it, it, it never does because when you bully someone, it never comes from a place of confidence. Yeah. It always comes from a place of insecurity, insufficiency, insecurity. Yep. You, you, you don't want anyone to notice anything about you, so you will mock and belittle everyone else mm-hmm. around you. And for the sake of making yourself feel better, feel more secure, yep. more popular, like yep. you mentioned Mean Girls, right? That reality of the movie Mean Girls is she actually, like, um, what was her name? Regina George. Yeah. Well, yeah, Regina George, but who's the red, the main character? Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan's character. She's a, a nice girl who has friends, but then yep. she starts becoming yep. the bully. And because of her own insecurities. Right. See, I have an interesting perspective on this because uh, in high school, up, well, from itty-bitty Patrick to ninth grade Patrick, mm-hmm. um, Patrick was a bully. Patrick was the popular bully. Oh, man. Then I transferred. I, had, I mean, similar to you, I was at a little small Christian school, 10 mm-hmm. kids in the in the classroom, and then I transferred to a, a big public high school to where I was the one that was bullied. Because mm-hmm. I was then the weird kid and not the popular kid. So I've seen yeah. both sides of those tracks. Yeah. Well, and and it's a hard thing. Like, I tell people, and this is it's my, maybe one of my love languages, I make fun of those I love, like my family always did that, and I have to struggle because that is a fine line between making fun of those I love, joking around, and bullying the little somebody. Yep, for sure. So a lot of people, they get turned off by how I talk to them or treat them, like me now even. Oh, for sure. And I apologize. I'm like, hey, I didn't mean it this way. I'm sorry. Yeah. But bullies don't repent and say sorry. Yeah, exactly. So it always has to be, who are you in Christ? You are freed to love your neighbor. Mm-hmm. If it's someone you can joke around with, make fun of, they make fun of you in return, great, that's fine. But if it's someone that you don't know well, don't spend the time yeah. belittling them because you're already who you are in Christ. Yeah. And I mean, especially like we don't know what our, our, the people around us are going through. Right, right. So like, I mean, it's easy for when you 
know someone like we can give each other a hard time and we know that we're not gonna right we're not gonna hurt each other's feelings but also for those people that you encounter even um for youth watching like if that's the way you communicate i mean i was my friends and i were always tough on each other yeah um my 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 one of my good friends my best friend he's he and i go back and forth and we've crooked with each other since we were kids yeah yep. um and but we also understand that we're not trying to hurt each other's feelings right 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 that relationship those relationships are special um you can't necessarily do that with the person you encounter on the street or someone you're getting to know because we don't know what they're going through like right you can you can do some serious harm and there's the, the multiple layers of bullying there's physical mm -hmm. punching hitting mm -hmm. wedgies uh swirlies 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 yep swirla swirlies not oh. swirla not swirla swirlies um, you have all of that. Then you have mental, you have emotional. Yeah. You have, so bullies are anywhere. They can be like the movie, um, bench warmers, yep. Rob Schneider. Yep. You know, who was the actual bully? And it was Rob Schneider was the bully growing up, but he was the short kid that was able to just yeah. manipulate and make fun of people. So actually my old associate, he who must not be named would always make that comment. I was the shortest guy in the room, so I had to figure out how to bring people down with my words. And he was good at it. He was good. The he White was, Mamba is pretty, he, was pretty good Mamba, at it. He was White Mamba. Don't give him that. He'd love that too much. But, um, <laughs> oh, good night. He's probably watching this right he's now. He's probably watching it right nah, now. Nah, let's be honest. Yeah, he's, he's not. not. He's, no, not. he's not. Probably bullying somebody. But the thing is, with your words, so you have emotional, mental, and, and none of it benefits, none of it helps. Yep. And... I think this thing is our vocation is to be the one that lifts up, that defends, speaks yep. well of, and does that. That's our vocation. And like you said, if you have someone you can joke around with in life, do it. Have fun. Poke at each other because you're kind of strengthening each other with that. Right. But when it's those others you're called to serve, just do that. And if mm -hmm. you find a bully, you know, well, it's kind of like um, the movie American Sniper. Okay. Yep. Your dad says there's a wolf and there's sheep. And then they're sheep dogs. Mm -hmm. Christians are the sheep dogs. We're not wolves devouring. We're also not sheep doing nothing. We're, We're sheep dogs that actually do what's right. Yep. So that's the ticket. So what would you say to the bully? To the bully? I mean, that's the hard part. If it's a physical bully, that's really hard because they only respond to one thing. Mm -hmm. You can use all the words you want, but it's a physical thing. Yep. You can tell the teacher all you want. Teacher's not going to do anything about it. I know what my dad told me to do. He said, hit him back. That's not always the best course of action. But I one thing that is interesting, if you see someone beating someone else up, then you should stop it. Yep. Whatever way you can. I mean that's that's for I mean, like you said, as us as Christians, we're the sheepdog. And if we, we see someone who needs protecting, you do it. Yeah. You protect. It's kinda like wars and everything. You take yep. World War Two. Were we we were isolationists for the longest time. Yep. Until we got attacked, then we did something about yep. it. Should have done something first. Well, I mean, and yeah, even if we've talked about last season, we talked about the war in Ukraine right now. Right, right. Um, so we're we're not definitely directly involved, but at the same time, we have a responsibility to right to protect Ukraine from from Russia. Exactly. So I think that's the thing is uh, that's actually where we disagreed off camera. I'm pro no, I'm kidding. But the thing is, you look at that, then emotional and mental is a little harder. Because you don't want to emotionally and mentally abuse someone else in return, but what you do is you do stop them. Yep. It's like, no, this isn't going to continue. You don't get to do this. Mm -hmm. And it's it's ever so easy to do because that's how the devil works. So right. our vocation is to put a stop to it and not do it ourselves. Thanks for your God. Fun times, right? Freedom in Christ to do it. It's good stuff. All right. There we go. That's our episode for this week. Check back next week. We're coming up on a mid-season challenge. It's going to be fun. I wouldn't say it's going to be fun. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's going to be traumatizing. I'm excited. I like being traumatized. It, it wakes you up to how normal the rest of life can be. It's definitely going to wake us up. Yep. It's going to be fun. We'll see you next time on There and Back Again. Like, follow, share, subscribe. Leave us some comments. Nice comments. We delete all the negative ones. Always do. Well, not really. We don't delete the negative ones. No, we don't. We, we just don't get any negative ones. Exactly. Never do. No need to. All right. We'll talk to you all later. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ugh.